Hello everyone and welcome to yet another review for effectsdatabase.com. This time of the Sunfish Audio Skyscraper. This is a drive and boost pedal. There's actually two pedals inside this box and you get to decide which one of the two actually goes first. So if you put the little toggle switch up top here, that means that the drive section will be engaged first and then the boost section comes afterwards. If you put the dial down, then it's the boost signal first and then the drive section. You have the, the two rows of buttons, so the first row is for the drive section and then the second row is for the boost section, except for the two buttons over here. Those are actually for the total pedal, that's why you have the little box around them. So you can use the drive and the boost separately, or you can use them in combination. And that's when this little switch comes in handy, of course, because if you're just using one of the two sections, it doesn't really matter, the other one gets bypassed. But if you're using them in combination, then the flavor of the sound can change a little bit, because either you have a, a drive pedal, uh, which you're going to boost going into your amp, or you have a boost pedal, and after that boost pedal, you have another drive pedal. So you have a bigger signal coming into the drive section uh, if you have the boost first, or you have a drive section which you will boost going into the amplifier. Some sound clips will follow. Um, I will give a fair warning that I really like this pedal, but uh, you're gonna need some time to figure everything out because the manual is actually in Japanese because this is a Japanese handmade pedal. Um, but apart from that, um, I can really recommend this pedal. I hope you enjoy the video and see you next time.